Hey everybody, so in the last uh, video, uh, we downloaded some data using the Tidy Census package from the American Community Survey. Uh, these were data on income, and we have data for income quintiles for 50 states and Puerto Rico and the District of Columbia, plus also data on the, the um, mean estimated income of the top 5% of wage earners. Um, so what we want to do in this video is to start to think about how to display these data in a table. And we're going to be looking at two packages in this module uh, for making tables. One is the Cable Extra package and the other is the GT package. Um, and the way I like to think about these and use them is I like to use the Cable Extra package if I'm exploring data and um, I just kind of want to visualize the data for myself or if I'm teaching and I want to have a quick table for my students or I want to show something in a document, in a Quarto document uh, and render it and send it to some colleagues. Whereas the GT package is better if you want to have full control over the styling of the table and you want to make a really pretty table. Um, so in this video, we're going to explore the data a little bit more with the Cable Extra package. And then in the next video, we're going to, um, we're going to spend some time making a really beautiful table uh, with the GT package. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, you remember in the last, um, in the last video, uh, what we did was we downloaded some data from the ACS five-year survey. And we ended up with a data frame that looks like this, okay? And so what we have are these uh, five income quintiles and then uh, an estimate of the incomes of the top 5%. Um, and we have it for, like I said, 50 states and Puerto Rico and uh, Washington, D.C. And this is quite a lot of data for one table. Okay, so there may be instances in which we want to have a table with 52 rows, um, but usually we're going to want to narrow it down a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, to narrow it down is let's go ahead and start a code chunk here. Okay, and uh, we'll go ahead and load the cable extra package. And then we're going to use some dplyr functions to subset the data. And what I'd like to do for this um, exercise is to display first a list of the states with the highest concentration of high income households, then a list of the states with the highest concentration of low income households, and then a list that has like a mix of states with high, medium, and low income households, okay? So, um, of course, there's lots of ways that you could display, you could parse these data and display them, but that's what we're gonna do for the purposes of this exercise, just to get familiar with Cable Extra. But also, part of what I wanna show you is how to use, how to subset data using dplyr slice functions. So we're gonna get started by, we'll just make a data frame, a new object called top 10. All right, and we'll take our quintiles data frame that we made in the last video, and we'll use dplyr slice max. Um, and we're going to slice based on the top 5% of wage earners, all right? And we're going to identify the states that have the highest values in that column. And so we'll take the top 10. Okay, uh, this will become clearer when I show you the actual table in a second. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to use the cable function from Cable Extra to display that. And to do that, we just simply call cable and put the name of the data frame uh, in the function. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. Oh, and I had a... An error here should be n equals 
10, not top 5. Okay, and that's what uh, that looks like. All right. So we can see that these states are ranked in order of, you know, the top 5, the estimate uh, for the top 5% of wage earners, okay, in those states for the ACS 2017 to 2021 ACS, right? So DC is at the top of the list there, notably Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, etc. All right. So now let's do, uh, let's close that up, give ourselves some space here. Uh, we'll add another, uh, now let's look at the states with, uh, we'll say, the highest concentration of earners in the lowest quintile. All right, we'll add a code chunk there. And uh, we have our cable extra package loaded. So we'll call this one bottom 10. Again, we're using our quintiles data frame, piping that into this time a slice min function. And we're going to be slicing based on the first quintile, which Q1, which is the lowest uh, quintile. N equals 10. And then we'll call cable again. Uh, and we'll call it on bottom 10, which we just created. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay, and here we are, and now uh, these states are ranked in order of uh, the lowest estimates in the first quintile. Okay, so before we go any further, uh, notice that I haven't actually labeled the code chunks yet. Let's go ahead and do that to maintain our good practice of labeling code chunks. So we'll label this one... Um, top 10 and we'll label this one bottom 10 and uh, now let's start a new code chunk and so now what I'd like to do is to make a table with a selection of states that reflects the full range of household incomes okay so some states with you know high concentration of wealthy households some states with a high concentration of poorer households and then states in between okay so let's make a table with a selection of states that reflects the range of household incomes all right and uh, we can label this code chunk range and then uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll start by identifying we'll just uh, label this lowest we'll start by uh, identifying the state with the lowest earnings estimate uh, the lowest income estimate in the first quintile okay and to do that um, we're gonna call In quintiles, we are going to call slice min again, and we're just going to call it on Q1 uh, with no additional arguments, and that's just going to give us the state. Uh, it's going to give us Puerto Rico, basically the state with the lowest estimate uh, in Q1. Okay, and then we're going to identify highest. We'll call that state max. And we'll do a slice max. And it's gonna give us, should give us Washington DC. It should give us the state with the highest estimate in the top five category. Okay, and then what I wanna do next is a new thing. I wanna randomly select five more states, all right? So we'll call this one five more. And we're going to take quintiles again. And we're going to use a function called slice sample, which is going to just slice 
which is just going to sample um, our data frame for five more states, uh, five more rows. Okay, n equals five. All right, and when you do this, you may get different five states than what I get. You probably will, um, uh, almost assuredly, um, because it's going to take a random sample. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll bind all of these together into one data frame called states. All right, and we're going to do bind rows. That's another dplyr function, which is going to um, which is going to take these three objects and it's going to stack them, right, for us. So uh, uh, bind rows state min state max five more, and then we're going to arrange that in descending order by the top five uh, category, okay? Um, and there's other ways we could, you know, arrange it if you want to arrange by like the top quintile or something like that. But the idea here is to Q5, you could use that. But the idea here is basically to rank the states in roughly order from like, um, I don't want to say the wealthiest to the poorest because we're not taking average of all incomes in the state, but you get the idea. Um, so let's go ahead and show that. Um, states, oh, and um, I missed something. <laughs> we want to display this with, uh, with cable extra. So we have to uh, call uh, cable and uh, put our new data frame in there. And then let's go ahead and, uh, and run that. And we should get our list of states here. There we go. So DC at the top, Puerto Rico at the bottom, and then a uh, selection of states uh, in between, right? Okay, um, so that's what I wanted to accomplish in this uh, video. And so in the next one, we're gonna use the GT package to really refine this table and to make it, um, you know, a lot prettier. Okay, see you in the next lesson.